Very pleasant night here in South Florida. It has not been a great week for these two teams in terms of the weather, but comfortable tonight. 70 degrees at kickoff. As Ed Cunningham mentioned, the wind could be a factor, particularly for the Tennessee passing attack, and they'll be going directly into that 14 mile per hour breeze to start the game. As Tom Osborne's Huskers will kick off, Tennessee won the toss, and Philip Fulmer elected to receive. Cedric Wilson is back deep for the opening kick. He's a true freshman from Memphis, Tennessee. Ordinarily, they have Dwayne Goodrich back returning kickoffs. But as it was mentioned before the game from Ed Cunningham, he has an injury. A quad muscle pull. Chris Brown kicks off. The junior from South Lake, Texas, puts... His foot to the ball, and the final game of this college football season is underway with a touchback. And Manning checking on the first play from scrimmage. He throws on target, close to a first down. Marcus Nash. There is a flag on the play from the offensive backfield. Sean, I think we're going to have a holding penalty to start the game with. Third down and 16. Shovel pass. Sean Bryson to the 20 and tackled by Jay Foreman. Ten yards short of the first down. The holding penalty really hurt. It's Hogue ready to punt now into that 14 mile per hour breeze. It should be excellent field position for Nebraska on its first possession. Oh, what a kick into the breeze. A boomer. It sends Bobby Newcomb back to the 20. That rolls inside the five and it looks like it will stop near the two. What a kick by Hogue. He wasn't even the starting punter at the beginning of the year. He was the backup, but the freshman David Levergen had trouble. Scott Frost hands off. Joel Magavica stopped with very little, perhaps a half yard. Radock Thompson led the surge for the Tennessee defense. On third and nine, Frost. Has a man open, it's too high. He was looking for the tight end, Sheldon Jackson. Jonathan Brown applied some pressure on Frost and forced the hasty throw. Terry Fair has the same injury as Peyton Manning, a bursa sack injury. Back to receive the punt from Jesse Cush. And his first punt is a beauty, but he had the aid of the breeze. Fair bobbled it. Retreated all the way back to the 33. And he is stopped. At the 37-yard line, a 56-yard punt by Cush, and the punters are the story here in the first four minutes. Well, and it took Lewis a little time to learn pass protection, and in this offense, you have to protect Peyton Manning when you're running back. Second down, Lewis trying to get outside. He has a great combination of power and speed, and he's across midfield. Mike Rucker made the tackle. That's a gain of eight. Lewis provided the first first down of this game for either team. Ball at the 49 of Nebraska. Manning with time. As a receiver, first down at the 31-yard line. Andy McCullough tackled by Ralph Brown. Now third down and seven. Neither team has converted on third down tonight. Manning again with plenty of time. And that's caught for a first down. Sean Bryson. The pitch to Lewis. Bryson leading the way. Lewis hit hard and fumbled. And Nebraska has recovered. Ralph Brown knocked it out, and Mike Rucker recovered the fumble at the 21-yard line. Tennessee showing blitz. They're up near the line. Amon Green out across the 25 to the 26. What the Tennessee defense is doing right now is they're penetrating upfield. Whenever you penetrate against an option team or a counter team, which Nebraska runs a lot of counter plays, it's disruptive to the offense. That is what they're doing effectively. Play action fake to Green. Frost throws. Man open. Caught. First down, Nebraska. Sheldon Jackson across midfield with the first first down of the night for the Huskers. Tom Osborne gives the opponent just about every formation just about every play out of every formation it's amazing to watch them practice 
Here's Frost throwing on target again. Matt Davison, the true freshman from Tecumseh, Nebraska. Nebraska starting to get in rhythm after the fumble by Lewis. Frost throws, looking deep. It is caught by Newcomb, and Bobby's out of bounds at the 14-yard line. Tackled by Torrey Noel. The ball is thrown where either he catches it or no one catches it. The option, he had to pitch it. It's Shevin Wiggins inside the five and down near the goal line. Gerald Griffin made the tackle that saved the touchdown. Many of the coaches who've talked about Tom Osborne since he announced his retirement talk about his great skill as a game coach. There's many adjustments. Up and over and in for a touchdown. Amon Green makes it 6 0 Nebraska. After the fumble by Jamal Lewis at the 22 of Nebraska, the Cornhuskers went 78 yards. It took eight plays. And Frost was three for three on the drive with Tennessee concentrating on stopping the run. He hurt them with the pass. Chris Brown. Bounces it down the field. Nice hop for Cedric Wilson, the true freshman. He's in trouble and stopped short of the 20 yard line knocked down to the 17. Clint Finley in on the stop. Mike Brown also in on the tackle for Nebraska. Play clock at three. Mark Levine now the tailback. He's out to the 21. Tackled by Tony Ortiz. Levine was the starting tailback at the beginning of the year before Lewis won the job. It was a good block by Peoples, but all of a sudden he got hit from the behind there. Levine again. Big hole. Mark Levine breaks free. Good move on Warfield. And he's tackled out at the 48-yard line by Carlos Polk, a backup linebacker. Gain of 27 for Levine. Brown was an outstanding two-way player in high school in Arizona. The Arizona High School Player of the Year as a senior. He won the award as the best running back in the state and also the best defensive back. Manning. That pass deflected and intercepted by Eric Warfield. Warfield at the 30 and tackled from behind at the 25-yard line by Sean Bryson. Manning has seen this before. His receivers had a tough time hanging on in the SEC championship game against Auburn. And as a result, the Volunteers just did squeak out a victory. Carlos Polk, who was injured a couple of plays ago, has his shoulder pads off and is heading to the locker room for Nebraska. He's a backup linebacker. Frost on first down. Keeps and gets drilled right in the line of scrimmage. What a first half Raynock Thompson is having. 7-0 Nebraska. They capitalized on the first turnover by Tennessee. A fumble. Went 78 yards for a score. Now at the interception, they're the 26. Newcomb in trouble behind the line and thrown for a loss by Jonathan Brown. But Jonathan Brown did exactly what his coaches told him to do. Play the reverse. Quarterback draw Frost. Trying to get outside. Two flags thrown at the feet of offensive linemen. Raynock Thompson and Terry Fair made the tackle. And it's against Nebraska. Nebraska back at the 39-yard line. Frost setting up a screen to Green. Leonard Little pulls him down from behind. Saw the great speed of Little, who played most of his career lined up outside as a pass rusher. This year he's made the transition to middle linebacker. And no matter where you put him, he's a terrific player. Jesse Cush, the son of a former Husker. His father, Bill, was a defensive back on their 70 and 71 national championship teams. Jesse hangs it up high. Oh, another football! And a touchdown for Nebraska! Lance Brown ran it in, but it was a muff punt, so the ball will come back to the 15-yard line. But it's another key mistake by Tennessee. It'll be first and 10 at the 15-yard line.
They got to go right back in and say, hey, guys, whatever we do, we can't give up a touchdown. Tighten it down and let's play defense and just suck it up and go. You wonder if Palmer will continue with Bear, the punt returner. He's had a tough time hanging on lately. Makaveka breaks tackles. He's inside the 10. Down to the eight yard line. It'll be second down. The ball's back at the 13. Where it'll be second down and eight. Makovic is still out of the game. The fullback is Billy Legate. Frost pitches to Green. Green dragged down at the 10 yard line by Tory Noel. Well, so far, that Tennessee defense is utilizing what they have the most of, and that's that speed and athleticism. They're able to run laterally down with that option play and chase it down. Green second in the nation in rushing this year behind Ricky Williams. Cross pitches. Here's Shevin Wiggins again inside the 10. Touchdown! Chris Brown to kick off again. He bounces it. The short kick taken by Brian Darden, the backup running back. And quality field position for the Volunteers as Darden brought it out to the 38-yard line. 14-0 Nebraska. Cornhuskers hoping for a convincing victory to sway voters. Perhaps earned at least a share of the national championship. Voters have been flip-flopping all year. Jamal Lewis back in the game. Two hands around the ball as he dove to the 43-yard line where he was chopped down by Mike Brown. On second and five, Manning. Flag thrown as Marcus Nash has a first down of the play stands. Erwin Sweeney made the tackle. Well, he was a big 12 defensive player of the year in 96 and 97. Manning. Take the draw, throws, nice catch. His receiver helped him there, Jermaine Copeland, who had the costly deflection that led to the interception earlier. Made a nice sliding catch at the 34-yard line, 13 more for the balls and a first down. Nebraska has a lot of former track athletes on this team. In the early 1990s, Tom Osborne changed his philosophy and went to recruiting more speed, and they have plenty of speed on this squad. Lewis. Down to the 30-yard line. Big third down. Six yards to go for a volunteer first down. Tennessee trails 14 to nothing. Manning throws short of a first down. We'll see where the forward progress is spotted. Mike Brown put the hit on Jermaine Copeland. Looks like the ball will be just inside the 27, meaning they're about two full yards short of the first down. So Philip Fulmer sends on the field goal unit. Jeff Hall. The junior from Winchester, Tennessee. Will try a 44-yard field goal. Benson Scott is the holder. That is right down the middle, and Tennessee is on the board. With 8.28 remaining in the first half. Due to time constraints, we move ahead in the action. Nebraska will get the ball first in the second half. Joe Walker. Among the men back deep for the Cornhuskers, Shevin Wiggins standing alongside. Here's Jeff Hall with the kickoff. And a good boot with the wind. And it'll be down to the back of the end zone. But the shocking thing is Tennessee has rushed for as many yards, more yards, they've rushed for 80. Nebraska only 69. They're the number one rushing team in America. Nebraska on the ground on the first play of the second half, and Amon Green went out across the 25. Fewest yards rushing Nebraska has had in one game this season is 335. No opponent has held them under 335. It was Texas A&M that held them, quote unquote, to 335 in the Big 12 championship. Frost a late pitch, but right on target. And Amon Green is out of bounds with a first down just across the 30-yard line. Chased out by Gerald Griffin. Here's a look at the first half stats. Three turnovers, very costly to Tennessee. It led directly to the 14 Nebraska point. Uh, five or six hours a day in the training room for Peyton Manning have certainly paid off. His knee has held up well. Makovica rumbling into the secondary. Terry Fair trying to collar him, and finally he did at the 41-yard line of Tennessee. 
24-yard gain for Joel Makavica, the junior from Brainerd, Nebraska, in the fall of 96. 6.5 yards per rush, best among all fullbacks in the nation. Boy, and certainly Nebraska's best blocking fullback. He does so many things for Nebraska. Nice block by Billy Legate, who took over for Makavica at fullback. He cleared a path for Ramon Green. And Corey Gaines and Gerald Griffin had to take him down to the secondary. First down, Nebraska. The Huskers impressively on the move to begin the second half. Already more rushing yards on this drive than they had in either of the first two quarters of the football game. Second down and seven. Out of the shotgun. They love quarterback draw out of the shotgun. And Frost is very close to a first down. Al Wilson and Leonard Little on the stop. From the 13, first and 10. Newcomb. Bobby's down at the five. He lunged ahead to move the ball toward the four. Tom Osborne with a little counter play there to Bobby Newcomb to take advantage of the fast flow of Tennessee's defense. Green following Joel Makovica's block. Green has the first down. And it'll be first and goal for the Huskers at the two. That really was Tom's way of designating Solich as the man he'd like to see succeed him. Well, and Tom said the timing for him to retire was perfect because he could help influence who his successor would be. The university president and athletic director agreed with the decision. Frost up and over and in for a touchdown. An impressive opening drive. Never mind the passes or the play action fakes. Nebraska goes back to its bread and butter. And they made that look easy. Impressive opening drive begin the second half by Nebraska. And the lead is 21 to 3 for the Cornhuskers. Tennessee about to get the ball for the first time. In the second half, Cedric Wilson took Chris Brown's kickoff at the goal line. Nice moves to get across the 20. And now he powers out to the 27. Nice return by Wilson. Phillips says we've got to come back and answer. This is an important drive. On second and eight, and they show patience with the run, but it yields nothing that time. Mike Rucker and Jason Peter at the bottom of the pile for Nebraska. Nebraska's gone to their nickel package, put their fifth defensive back in the game, expecting pass. Three wide receivers, no tight end for Tennessee. Manning running out of time. He's sacked by Mike Rucker. The first sack of Manning tonight. Peyton just never had time to get that arm cocked and get the ball down the field. Now Chris Hogue with his worst punt of the night. But he did get a good bounce. Hogue averaged 61 yards per punt on three punts in the first half. That one wound up going 43. There is a flag down at the 41-yard line. And it's for an illegal block in the back against Nebraska. Nebraska on offense for the second time in the second half. They stay on the ground. It's Amon Green with running room again. Out to the 35. Terry, obviously, just before the break, you didn't have a chance to finish your thought about the Nebraska offense. Well, Sean, I was making the point, it's such a tough offense to stop because they run one back, two back, three back offense. They have multiple formations, an option game, a power game with their tailback, a trap game with their fullback, a mobile quarterback, and all of a sudden they just stress you on defense until you come apart. I think we're seeing tonight, this is a very good Tennessee team, a lot of good athletes who can really run on defense. No question. They played the Nebraska offense as well in that first half as any defense I've ever seen play against the Nebraska offense. If their own offense hadn't turned it over, I'm not sure Nebraska would have scored in the first half. Frost pitched it at the last second. Look out! Amon Green with one man to beat. And he could not beat him. Terry Fair made the touchdown saving tackle at the 21-yard line of Tennessee. A 43-yard pickup for Green. He now has 113 yards rushing. Magavica weaving his way to the right. Again to the 17. Four-yard pickup. Ron Green and Leonard Little 
made the tackle. So that's 12 straight games now with 100 yards rushing or more for Amon Green. And I think it has to do with that intensity of the offensive line. They seem to have a little skip in their step, if you will, in this second half, where in the first half they didn't seem to. And Tennessee is not penetrating quite as much as they were able to in the first half. Green up the middle. A lot of tired looking arm tackles from the defensive front now for Tennessee. Corey Noel had to come up from the secondary to help Corey Terry, the defensive end. Well, that's the way they play. They love to run the ball, and they're going to get 80 plays a game, and 68 or 70 of them are going to be runs. Frost keeps. Frost. Touchdown! He might still be cramping up a little bit. You saw him trying to stretch as he went into the end zone. Scott Frost was certainly silenced in the first half, but has responded in the second half. This is a design quarterback keep. He follows the tailback, Amon Green. He's the only guy that's supposed to have the ball on this play. He's a great runner. They want him to carry it into the end zone. Nebraska has taken control, leading by 25. Still five minutes left. In the third quarter, Cedric Wilson ran into traffic at the 27-yard line. Man, good for you. Get better, Mom. All right, woo. Get better, Mom. First and ten. Tennessee needs to do something, and they need to do it quickly. The pass caught by Marcus Nash, the senior from Tulsa, Oklahoma. 76 catches coming into tonight, but he's had a quiet night in this one. From the 32, second and six. A lob looking for Nash. He has it. And he's across midfield. Erwin Sweeney made the tackle. They had one on one coverage. And Nash has a 20 yard gain in this fourth reception of the night. Jay Foreman hit him after the ball was gone. Jamal Lewis off right tackle, found the hole. He's down at the 41-yard line. Quality gain of seven on first down for Lewis. Peyton Manning has been plagued all season long with drop passes by his wide receivers. And I take back what I said about that being an Aaron throw. Nash slipped. And that might have hurt his chances of catching it. Manning throws short of Jermaine Copeland. Now it's fourth down. And four, and down by 25. I don't think Philip Fulmer has any choice here, Terry, other than to go for it. Big play here for Tennessee as they cling the hopes of a comeback. Fourth and four, blitz, caught, first down. He had the forward progress beyond the marker as Eric Warfield put the collar on Jermaine Copeland. But it is a first down just inside the 37-yard line. Time, Copeland gets the first down. Locked down to three minutes and change remaining in the third quarter. Lewis close to another first down. He had one man to beat and he was gone. Instead, it's a gain of nine. And it'll be second and one at the 28-yard line of Nebraska. He has 67 yards rushing tonight on 13 carries. He gets the hand up again. Burst through the hole. Ran into his own man, and that might have prevented a touchdown. Instead, he's down at the five-yard line. Tackled by Eric Johnson, a reserve linebacker. 23 yards on the rush for Lewis, and the Volunteers are on the move. Hold him down long enough for Johnson to make the stop. First and goal at the five. Manning looking in the end zone. Running out of time. Throws. Touchdown! Peerless Price with the reception for the Tennessee score. It appears they will go for two. You saw Manning holding up the two fingers and the sideline held up two, looking back at the offense. We watched him practice that play a couple of days ago, and he really hobbled as he rolled to his right. Tonight, no sign of any hit. Sean, it's amazing. I didn't think he was healthy for the ball game, but he clearly is. Out of the shotgun, the try for two. He throws incomplete. Looking again for Peerless Price. Erwin Sweeney had the coverage. 
So it's 28 to 9 with a minute 58 remaining in the third quarter. The FedEx Orange Bowl from Miami. Back in Miami at Pro Player Stadium. The second year, the home of the FedEx Orange Bowl. And Smokey's here for the first time since 1968. That's the last time the balls were in this game. That's their fourth appearance in the Orange Bowl overall. They're one and two coming into this one. Good kickoff by Jeff Hall with the wind, and Shevin Wiggins had to down it. Due to time constraints, we move ahead in the action. Watch Aaron Taylor, number 67, the left guard. He'll come down and crush the Tennessee nose guard. That creates a huge opening in the defense that allows Amon Green to get through it. The Nebraska offensive line has really come to play in the second half. The veteran group will lose six of their top seven offensive linemen to graduation. So that'll be the first major challenge for Frank Solich as he takes over as head coach. Joel Makavica banged down to the 25. That's a gain of eight. Nebraska had 69 yards rushing in the first half. They now have 271 for the game. I think Tennessee has proven, despite the score, it's worthy of a very high ranking. They're certainly one of the best teams in the nation. And Nebraska is starting to take firm control. Something Michigan never did yesterday. Touchdown, Amon Green! Flagged out at the three-yard line. And it is a touchdown, says Terry McCauley. 22 yards on the run by Green. Coach Fulmer's team did run the table to earn him a contract extension. Announced a couple of days ago through the year 2003 with a hefty pay raise. He'll make about $750,000 per year over the course of that contract. Well, it's amazing what's happened to contracts in college football. Said that as if you might ponder going back. <laughs> no, no, no. Darden out to the 30-yard line. 22-yard return. I think Philip Fulmer is a very underrated, underappreciated at times coach at the University of Tennessee, and primarily because of the Florida series. That's been the That's series right. that he's just not been able to get over the hump of. Just a couple of wins against the Gators. He would be a fully beloved figure in the state of Tennessee. Lewis tackled from behind by Jason Peter. Terrific play by Peter when it looked like Lewis was ready to break away. You wonder if the balls are going to go without a huddle now. They won't have time, it seems, to get another playoff in the third quarter. They do not. The third quarter dominated by Nebraska. Point Huskers trying to make a statement for the national championship. Tom Osborne and Peyton Manning, each in his final game at his respective university. Manning throws very short out to the 34-yard line, perhaps the 35, a gain of two. No question about it. What's interesting is why has it happened all of a sudden? And I think one of the reasons Tennessee's not tackling as well this half as they did in the first half. Nebraska 227 yards rushing in the third quarter. Jamal Lewis chopped down short of a first down, about a yard short. Brandon Harrison, junior from Gainesville, Texas. Backup quarterback made the tackle. He's in his first year at Nebraska as a junior college transfer. And as was mentioned before the game, the biggest reason Tom Osborne wanted to step aside now was his family. He admits that his wife Nancy more or less raised their children by herself. He was putting in 17-hour days coaching football. Sheldon Jackson tackled by Corey Gaines. A rare pass here in the second half called by Coach Osborne. Well, Mike is hoping he can turn his dad into a golfer. Tom Osborne prefers fishing in his rare free moments. Frost, the keeper, now to the 45. What a turnaround it's been for Scott Frost at Nebraska. He took over for Tommy Frazier, one of the most popular players and successful players in Nebraska history. 
They were coming off back-to-back -back national titles when the team struggled early last year and had lost at Arizona State. Much of the criticism from the Nebraska fans directed at Frost. He was booed. And he bristled at that, spoke out against it. Now he has been embraced, but you get the sense talking to him, he still remembers the boos, too. He was the backup to Steve Stenstrom for two years at Stanford, two losing seasons. He wanted to go back where he knew he would play on a winning team and be a key member. Frost, close to another first down at the Tennessee 37-yard line. Nice blocking by Jeff Lake. Larry Frost is the head coach at the high school which Scott Frost attended in Wood River, Nebraska. And Carol Frost is an assistant coach. She coaches the wide receivers and the defensive ends. And the other day, when most of the mothers of the Nebraska players went to the Seaquarium here in Miami, Mrs. Frost said she'd rather stay in the hotel and watch the NFL playoff games. And that's what she did. Frost on the carry. Close to a first down of the 28, Deion Grant. He reminds me of Nolan Cromwell, the great option quarterback from Kansas who had a wonderful pro career. That's who he looks like. On fourth and one, Frost. The pitch to Green, and it's a loose ball. Leonard Little ran by it. Now it's picked up, and you cannot advance that pitch. But Darwin Walker recovered and didn't really matter because it was fourth down anyway. Tennessee was going to get the ball, and they have it at about the 32. It's been a great experience for, for the Manning family. We've had a wonderful time. Take a short break for the play. And as a light rain begins to fall, Manning's pass to Lewis. And Jamal thrown for loss back to Ed. You know, I'm glad it worked out for him. I'm glad he was able to stay healthy this year, and, and they won a championship. And um, he's, I'm glad he stayed. He, he is, too. We're proud of him. Archie, thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of the ball game. Pass incomplete. Here comes the punting unit. Walked off from the spot at second down and six. Huskers at their own 38. Frost, the pitch to Green, running room in the corner. He's into Tennessee territory, down at the 47-yard line. But this offense is perfect for Lincoln, Nebraska. They love it. All they do is win, set a five-year record for the best record in the history of college football with it. Magavica dancing through traffic. Look at Frost hustling downfield to throw a block. Torrey Noel made the tackle with a 37, first down, Nebraska. They've had a lot of injuries as well on defense. A lot of players have left the game. Jay Sims back in at eye bag. Here he goes. Almost went the distance. Deion Grant made the tackle. The true freshman, Burrell Buckhalter, is in it. Eye back now. And Frost might be changing the play. Five on the play clock. Here's Buck Halter, fresh legs, writhing down inside the 15-yard line. You watch the power and the precision of the Nebraska offense, and it's, it's unmatched in the country. No one has an offensive team as powerful as this one. They just don't. They're, Michigan certainly has a top-ranked defense, the best defense in the country. Brooks scores another touchdown. His third of the night. You know he hates ending his career like this. He's such a fierce competitor. Martin over the middle to Sean Bryson. Let's turn our attention to the larger issue now. Who is number one? The best team in the nation. This situation again cries out for a playoff because it's obviously difficult to choose either team. Whichever team is not the national championship is going to feel that it is short change with good reason. Here's the statistical comparison. Our crew, I don't think, was overly generous in awarding Nebraska a victory in this game. Nice throw by Martin. And Andy McCullough's running free in the secondary. You know, much was made that Michigan played the tougher schedule, but I think as we look at the bowl game results, Terry, the Big Ten might have been exposed for not being as strong as people said it was all season long. The Big Ten really struggled in bowl games, two and five, including Michigan's victory. 
Bring Nebraska out of the league, went out and played a very good Washington team in Seattle, as you know, one of the toughest places in the nation to play, and won easily. Well, I, th I think if you're one of the AP 70 writers who are going to vote on this decision, or one of the 62 coaches who vote in the coaches poll, you've got to really sit down and think about this. But I think both teams are great on defense. You have to say Nebraska has an edge on offense. Well, that might be, but Sean, I have my own personal beliefs, and, and I really think that the national championship should be shared by these two teams. That's just what I believe. Mm -hmm. I, remem I remember in 90, uh, Colorado, Georgia Tech, they shared it. I agree with you, by the way. N 91. I'm just saying, I know you for did. those who awarded the thing to Michigan after they won yesterday, that really short changes this Nebraska team. That's just and, not. Uh, I agree with you. They both deserve it. One, if it isn't a split, somebody is going to be deservedly very upset. You know, you, I, I just think you better weigh it because, boy, a national championship is such a special thing to players and coaches. It means so much. Team Martin can really run. He's inside the five with a minute two remaining, an 11-yard gain. First and goal from the three. T. Martin into the end zone. Touchdown, Tennessee. Andy McCullough. Well, the heir apparent to Peyton Manning drives the Volunteers down the field, and now the try for two. Martin was four for four on that drive. He swings it out, and there's the two-point conversion for Travis Stevens, the true freshman from Clarksville, Tennessee. 42-17, Nebraska. But you sense, looking at the face, that the emotions are now stirring, the realization that in 58 seconds, he'll walk off the sideline for the last time. And Nebraska will be the land of Oz no longer. Onside kick, recovered, but he was out of bounds, it seemed, from here. Yep, flag comes out. Andy McCullough fielded it, but he was on the Nebraska sideline. Clearly one of the great coaches of all time. And he's 20 seconds away from the career-ending victory. Only fitting that it would end with a victory and perhaps a national championship for Tom Osborne. He leaves us with 255 wins. And not a happy ending for Peyton Manning. As he heads toward the NFL. Tom Osborne heads for a fishing pole.